Hi, Philadelphia cream cheese. How about this? You and I hanging out in my kitchen one more time. You know, I was a little bit disappointed whenever I didn't win a coveted spot in the last competition. But I got to tell you, in my heart I felt, this is not over. And here we are once again, and this time featuring a very, very new product, the Philadelphia Cream Cheese Cooking Cream. And in this spot, we're going to do Italian cheese and herb. And I've got quite a few little uh, ideas that I want to tell you about as we go along. Uh, in the oven, I have chopped, and they are on a 350 degree oven, uh, some, uh, a half of a red onion, uh, a half of a, this case, orange bell pepper, um, celery, and garlic. And in the time it's taken me to get gorgeous for this little party we're having here, uh, it's, it's uh, coming along nicely. And here it is right here. Check this out. Look at that caramel goodness. Um, you know, and all we did was uh, put a little bit of canola oil on this. Uh, I didn't even salt these because the, you know, that's the great thing about your cream. I don't know if you know this or not, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's already got the salt in it, so it's just one less step you have to do. And I'm going to take this little piece of garlic right here and I'm going to put it right there. We're going to smash that because we don't want one person to have the garlic. We want a lot of people to have a piece of this garlic, okay? So here we go. It goes right in here. Let's go ahead and turn this stove on high. And I'm going to go right over here, like I said, and smash this. Look at there. I smashed that garlic, and it's going to be beautiful in this. Oh, by the way, we're making soup. I love soup. If you were to ask my family, they would tell you I love soup. I will make any kind of soup with anything I have in the refrigerator at any time. And that is the really, really great thing about these creams is that um, you can pick what type of nationality you want, whether it be Italian or uh, Tex-Mex, or with the savory garlic, you can, of course, come up with an Indian dish. And then, the, of course, you have the original. Make it the way you want to, baby. Okay, and in this, while this pot is heating up, I am putting one can of evaporated milk. All right, now, the reason why I'm using evaporated milk is because my family doesn't go through, doesn't go through a lot of milk. If I bought a, a gallon of milk, uh, it, it would not get used. It's just more convenient for me to use canned milk, okay? And what I did was uh, equal parts, canned milk and water. I certainly don't want it as thick as it is. We're going to thicken this soup with Parmesan cheese, okay? Now, we are going to let this heat up. We don't want to boil this. All we want to do is heat this. It's so quick and easy. On a Tuesday night feeding the family, you could go by the grocery store, pick you up a um, rotisserie chicken, come home and make this soup, take some of those bags of lettuce that they have, and, you, and, and crusty bread, and dinner's done. When you have a dinner party, and sometimes not all parties at your houses are the kind where everybody's mulling around and uh, listening to music and just having um, little appetizers and finger foods, not all parties are that way. All right, now that I've heated this pot up, I've only heated the pot. I'm not wanting to boil this again. That's not what this is all about. Uh, you're only supposed to be standing here for five minutes. This is what's going on here. Okay, so uh, I've turned this way down, and at this point in time, and I'll get back to what's so fabulous about having, you know, sometimes you have, um, you actually have sit-down dinners, you know, six, eight, ten people. And, uh, you know, the star of the show is going to probably be the prime rib uh, or the roasted duck. It's certainly not the side dish. Um, so your side dishes should be really, really easy. Now, what did I do with my spoon? Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. So here we are putting the cream in here. And I want you to look at this. It is a cream, okay? 
It is meant to be very, very easy to put into any of your recipes, okay? And you can tell there is a lot of spices in here. There are a lot of spices in here, okay? And it is thickening this soup. I'm spending five minutes on this. And when you set this on the table, your children or the people you've invited to the party, they're really going to think, uh, they're, first off, they're going to think that you bought it, okay? You can say, no, uh, no, I made it. Because it's that silky and that creamy that, um, you know, they're going to think you bought this. I don't know if you can hear this or not, but you can tell that this is not a thin soup. Who likes a thin soup, huh? All right, now from here, we're going to take this Parmesan cheese and we're going to put it in here. See? And you can make it as thin or as thick as you want. And see how I'm doing here? Look. See how I'm doing? We don't want this to boil. All right. And this is beautiful. The thing about this is, is these has very small little beautiful pieces of greenery and, um, you know, herbs and spices. And then with the addition, like I did, the, the chunks of vegetables, now you've got a couple of little layers, actually three, right? So you've got that silky smooth of the, of the soup, okay? And then you have your herbs and spices on the tongue, and then you have those chunks of vegetable, okay? So, nice warm ve vessel. Do you hear that? I hope you do. I really do hope you do. And this is it. What more can I say? Let's ladle this into our uh, vessel. Now, you know what? You could add a can of clams to this. You could add a package of those very, very small uh, shrimp to this, okay? But I would put this back on the stove because see, this stove area is very, very warm and just leave it, okay? Leave it, walk away. You've got something else to do. You always do, okay? So, but looky here. I just had to share it with you. In the time it took you to take a shower, you roasted those vegetables. Those vegetables could have been anything. They could have been zucchini. Excuse me, not zucchini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zucchini. And, um, Mushrooms, shoot, shoot. Did you ladies see me pick up the salt at all or any spices at all? They're in here. They're in here. This is a few pieces of celery leaf. See this? Okay. A little, uh, a little hint of Parmesan right there. Okay. All right. And there it is. This is my first entry for the competition. Okay. <laughs>